It's officially fall in Los Angeles, not that we'd know it, because it is hot. <laughs> it's really, really hot. Yesterday, I bought a carton of cookie dough ice cream. I got home, it was cookies. <laughs> Uh, in LA, the only way we know that it's fall is because everything starts to taste like pumpkin spice. That's what happens. <laughs> That's the only way we can tell it's happening. For some reason, that is the only gourd that someone was interested in making a spice from. You don't hear <laughs> butternut squash or zucchini spice. It's some, pumpkin spice is in everything. It's like there's the pumpkin spice lattes. There's the, uh, popular. Very popular. Whoever came up with that idea is a smart, smart pumpkin spice cookie. <laughs> but they put it in, like, there's pumpkin spice butter now. There's pumpkin spice Pringles. Have you tasted those? No. Yeah. I don't know about those. <laughs> it's, even the pumpkin is like, this has gotten out of hand. This is, I'm not that tasty. I don't know how it happens, but there are certain foods that become trendy. Like, right, I, I love kale. I love kale. I always have loved kale, but kale is everywhere. And within, you know, like, here's the thing. Kale is popular, and so is big butts. And <laughs> I'm having a hard time keeping my big butt up with eating my kale. There's also a second where it seemed like everybody loved gluten-free stuff, it would be like we were on the brink of a gluten allergy epidemic or something. And then people tasted gluten-free cookies, and they were like, hallelujah, I'm healed! <laughs> with that. Uh, <laughs> you do it. I don't know if you just uh, hallelujah or there's a clap. I've never known. <laughs> there are all these trends, but here's the thing that back in the 50s, I don't know if anybody remembers the 50s, but um, there was a trend where uh, you couldn't go to a dinner party without having some kind of a loaf or a mold. Do you remember? <laughs> oh, and the molds were on the wall as decoration because they were very pretty. If it sounds terrible, it's because it was. <laughs> I found some cookbooks, and these are pictures of real things to show you. Here is a green olive jello salad. <laughs> that is a jello hell no. That's what I call that. Who would combine those things? It's, there's also something called glazed potato salad. I know, I know. And look at the radishes on the side. By the time it, the, the time it took someone to carve those radish flowers, they should have come to their senses. They should have <laughs> realized what they were doing. There was something called a candle salad. This is real. made with banana and pineapple and mistakes. <laughs> and it looks just like, that's right, kids, a candle. <laughs> I tried it once. It was not my thing. I didn't like it. I did not like it. 